Alright, chill. I haven't hunted in a couple of days. It is September 25th, I think. September 25th? No, September 26th. Today. We're headed in. Don't really know what bucks are in here. Starting to pick some daylight activity up. And uh, we're just going to see what happens tonight. Not expecting great things. Rained all day yesterday. Lindsay saw a ton of deer moving. Um, she was hunting a big cornfield, big cut cornfield, and the deer out there feeding like crazy. So she said she watched them make a scrape, a couple bucks make a scrape, sparring, just a ton of activity. So now it's time to move in on these scrapes. And where I'm going, there's a bunch of scrapes. And with it raining last night and all day, they're going to want to get in there and clean them out. Refresh them. So it might be an eventful afternoon. See how it goes. Make my sit up tonight. It's an acorn. Big old oak flat ridge. I'm hunting actually in the bottom of the ridge. I know we don't like to do in the afternoons, but there's a bunch of scrapes leading down that way. So we're gonna see what happens tonight. in the truck and I'm running really late and blew a deer out on the way in. Really cloudy when I came into the stand it's been raining all day. Now the clouds have pushed off. Temperatures are dropping. The pressure should be rising. It just might be a good afternoon. I love days like this. I just got out of the stand a little while ago and uh, saw a bachelor group of bucks. The oldest one come in there and step the other two off. I got to watch them go up the ridge and open the scrapes back up. It rained, it's been raining the last two days and the scrapes I saw, I'm kind of hunting them now. Uh -oh. If y'all can find some scrapes right now, which I know it's super early, but if you can get on them, they are coming by and checking those things constantly. Find your acorns. They sit there and crushed acorns. Uh, ate them behind me, so. All right, we are changing our game plan. We have a uh, big cutover beside us. We got a big, growed up field right here. Pretty much all Johnson grass, just tall weeds. We'll see what kind of sign we got in here because I might be moving my stand location this, this direction. Nasty cut up right there. It leads out into the field right here. Think about putting a stand up right there. 
All right, I have uh, come in here and check my camera. It is slept tore up in here. I got scrapes. I got rubs popping up everywhere. They're crushing the mineral in the corn. And on the camera, what's happening? Is it looks like a lot of deer are really skirting the camera because I get a picture of a deer on the camera and then a bunch of them behind him. And I walked out into this field up here, this grown up field. And there's trails going all through it. So what I might do, I don't know whether I want to sit here in the stand I already have or if I want to move to the edge of the field, have an observation stand, see what the heck's out in that field. I'm going to walk around up here and look, but there's just sign everywhere. And what kills me is there's nothing really big on camera. But there's got to be a big deer in here. I mean, it's just too much sun. And it's eat up in here. I'm actually going to hunt the spot tonight. If I can find a good, good tree. See all this stuff right here, these little vines. Eat up. And they have crushed the undergrowth. They have eaten everything here. There's trails going all through here. Here's that grown up field I was talking about right in there. Main trail coming through here. The fresh rub. Tree might be a good option, but it's going to be a pain to get up in there. Alright, so here's the game plan. I think I'm going to settle on this tree right here. It's an oak tree and a cedar. Couldn't ask for better cover. I'm going to get it up there. Overlooking this growed up field. And I got all my woods behind me. Right there. Rubs in there. Got a scrape right over there, which I can probably see from the stand. So I'm going to see if I can get my stand up in this tree. Alright, I am headed into that stand that I hung earlier today. There's deer trails coming all out of this woods right here. Makes me feel pretty good about the situation. But uh, headed in now, kind of hunting a crosswind, which is touchy, but big bucks don't like to come in when the wind's not in their favor. About lost it right there. See how it goes. If I don't fall on my face. hours ago. We know we have a really good deer somewhere in here. But I've not yet laid eyes on him, so a lot of seeing ground anyway. I can see a good ways. If something steps out in this field, I can make a game plan on him. At least figure out what to get eyes on him. All right, guys, this is going to wrap up this week's episode. A um, couple of things I want to show you are we're on the front of a front. So it's going to be some good hunting. Today's a little hot, a little humid, but after today, everything clears up. And it's going to be uh, 60s and 40s, which is unseasonably cool for us. <clears throat> what I want to do is come out here and check another farm that we got and pulled up to one of our usual scrape spots where deer are always scraping year after year and boom there it is been freshened out since this morning it looks like super fresh so game plan for this week is going to be hunting the scrapes this temperature is dropping i've been in the woods every day and seen um does starting to act a little funny just a little bit more nervous around the bucks uh, a lot of bucks coming in together still bachelor groups but what i did notice 
is your older age class deer are starting to shuck these young ones off and, and what I've seen too is I filmed one buck in particular from one stand to the next to the next and he's traveled over half a mile and talking to other people I'm getting reports of, of their deer leaving and being gone for two or three days and then all of a sudden they'll show back up so right now I feel like everything's trying to establish that territory you know just because the buck's not there today doesn't mean he's not gonna be there tomorrow this could be one of the most interesting times to be in the woods stuff starting to change around they're starting to figure out who's the boss whose property it is where their territory is so like I said try to key in on these scrapes find your scrapes um, Acorn's really hot right now if you can get on an Oak Ridge hunt them and uh, with this front coming in it ought to be some awesome weather the only battle we have is a full moon coming up so good luck this week I hope this helps you out and uh, comment like make sure you um, turn your notifications on we're gonna be coming out every week with a new episode and uh, let us know what you're seeing out there thanks and uh, talk to you soon <laughs>